Hi everyone, welcome, this is Kelly. Today I am drying some sunflowers for my journal that I'm working on this month and I thought I would show you how I do it. I use a microwave and things from my kitchen and the first thing you need is a microwave safe plate, some absorbent paper towel, mine's folded over. Our next layer is a piece of paper I'm guessing this might help with heat distribution, I'm not sure. And then we add our sunflower. I cut the stem off really close to the base here so these ones will lie flat. And we just place them on here, not too close together. Okay, and now we add another piece of paper as well as another piece of absorbent paper towel and then something heavy. I've got some Pyrex lids here that will help press it down as it microwaves for one minute at full power. This has been one minute in the microwave and I just want to show you how to tell they're not ready. You can see they're still quite wet and sticking to the paper and soft. So we now put it back into the microwave at 30 second intervals at 70% power. Okay, so this took another 90 seconds, but we are now done. And how to tell that your flowers are done is they're crispy and hard. And when you touch them, they're crispy, like they crackle. You can hear it. Hopefully you can hear that. But yeah, it's works perfectly and a couple of minutes and you have your flowers ready to go. This one turned out so pretty. I left the stem on this one to see how it turned out. And although it does look a little shabby perhaps, I will show you ways that you can turn these into beautiful things and use them. These are some delicate flowers that I did the other day and I did them on 70% power and I think it was about a minute 30 for these ones and still they work really, really well for any flower you want to do. This method is perfect. And here are our cooled sunflowers. This is definitely one of my favourites. I really love how this one turned out. And over time, these will want to fall apart. So my secret weapon to keep them together longer is spray adhesive. I sprayed front and back with these. And because it is a uh, permanent or repositioning one, I had to let it dry for at least 24 hours before it dried completely to the touch. So, something I learned. Make sure your plate is cool each time you do it. Maybe do a batch or two, but that's it at a time. Um, if your plate is hot, then I find they dehydrate a lot more and don't look as nice. And that's how I dry all my flowers and leaves at home. Just using simple, simple tools, nothing fancy at all. Everyone could use this method. So that's it from me today. Thank you for joining me. I will see you soon for my next video.